Today, we are going to take a posture of peace by believing what God said about rest. Posture is a short, audible fist bump to remind you God is with you in everything. Together, we're going to be emboldened to take a daily posture of perfect peace. Last week, we started our new mentor series with a conversation about rest, and that conversation continues today with my friend, Ashley Nicole. She has taught me and mentored me in how to effortlessly live in the power of rest, and it has been so transformative. Today's episode is another clip from that conversation, and it may challenge you, as it did me when Ashley first started walking me through shifting into a lifestyle of rest. But to be honest, what was being challenged in me is what needed to be changed. And this is the gift of truth. Truth sets us free. So if you feel challenged while you're listening today, I wanna invite you to pause and ask the Holy Spirit if this is an invitation for change, for freedom, maybe from an old mindset, an old habit, or an old belief. I do wanna encourage you to watch our entire conversation at posture.com today. I'll also put that link in the description of this episode so it's easy for you to find. You will also find a link to Ashley's website so that you can connect with her and all of her resources. And as always, in the description of this episode, there will be all the references for the key scriptures that we make mention of so that you can find them, read them, and continue to study them. And this is such good news because if rest is a place and that place is our place in the Father through Christ, it means we're not Mm -hmm. visiting rest. We can actually live there. So the next question is, why don't we live there? We don't live there because we don't believe that we do. Mm -hmm. Uh, So we really are truly limited by our beliefs. And the reason that this is so important for us to to receive and understand is because God said that if we that if we have become christians if we have received his son that we that the old man has died that the new man now lives and in other words he said it died there's no going back so we really truly are the new man and and we it's important for us to actually approach everything from the fact that whatever god said to believe that whatever god says really is true. So if he says that we're the new man, then we're always the new man. The new man and the old man don't constantly shift back and forth as to, okay, well, this one's alive now, and then now it's dead. So this one's alive, and now this one's dead. Now this one's alive. We don't shift back and forth. We already are there. God said he's already given us our inheritance. If we're not receiving the benefit of experiencing our inheritance, such as feeling loved by God, uh, receiving the fruits of the spirit in our lives, seeing peace, joy, you know, long suffering, you know, you know, which is patience, you know, goodness, all of those things in our lives, including rest. If we're not seeing them in our lives, it's because we're choosing to not receive the gift. God's already given the gift. It's already there. He can't give us something that it, any more than he's already given. It's already there. But we, in order for us to get to receive the benefits of the gift, we have to take it. And the way to take it is to actually receive it. The way to receive it is to believe it. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're not actually in uh, operating in rest. It's important for us to know we're still at rest, whether or not we believe it, because if God says that we are there in Christ, then we're always there and we can't do anything to remove ourselves. But if we're not experiencing the benefits of it in our lives, in other words, we're not operating in it. It means that we're not we're not believing it. It's important to realize that we're there whether or not we believe it. But if we want to experience the benefits of being there, we have to believe it.